Okay, here we are on week two of the national rankings by the College Football Playoff Committee. And we're gonna go through the scenario again of the New Year's Six Bowl games. So let's get started. Here we go. We know that the, the Orange Bowl Committee selects this game and they've gotta take ACC highest ranked team since they lost Florida State up to the uh, semifinal game. So as we go through the top 25, we see Clemson is still highest ranked ACC, although we now see Duke and Georgia Tech right on the heels of Clemson. So we're gonna put Clemson in the ACC. Remember, we're using this as of today is the end of the season. So Clemson would represent the ACC in the Orange Bowl. We believe that Alabama at number five, since the Orange Bowl can either pick SEC, Big Ten, or Notre Dame, Alabama being highest ranked would be placed as they were last week in the Orange Bowl. So we've got the Capital One Orange with Clemson and Alabama. Now, it starts to get real interesting here because remember, we've got to place one team from the group of five, the conference champion from one of these conferences automatically gets into either the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, Goodyear Cotton, or Vizio Fiesta Bowl. We don't have anybody through the top 25 from these five conferences ranked. What does that mean? We're all guessing, so we're gonna guess three different scenarios here. We've got potential teams here that we've done some analysis with. Marshall is not ranked, but they're 8-0, overall 4-0 in conference. Their best win is Middle Tennessee. It's 4-1 in the conference, 5-4 overall. In the same conference, Conference USA, we've got Louisiana Tech, who's six and three, but their losses are two Oklahoma number 15 and two Auburn number three, and a last second field goal loss to Northwestern State. However, they're five and zero in conference, and that's all that matters because if they went out in their conference and played Marshall, then you've got a potential either Louisiana Tech or Marshall that could be a conference champion that could find their way into the New Year's Six Bowl games. We've also got Boise State, who's six and two, played in the Chick-fil-A kickoff game, lost to number 11, Mississippi, so if there are things like good losses, Louisiana Tech and uh, Boise State would be the benefactor of that. Boise State at six and two overall, three and one in conference. Colorado State in the same division in the Mountain West, eight and one overall, four and one in their conference. However, Colorado State lost to Boise State. So Boise State has the tiebreaker here. Um, so Boise State could win out, win the championship game, and be in the playoff. Colorado State could win out. If Boise State loses a game, Colorado State could get in. So those are the scenarios that we're looking at right now within the, uh, the group of five conference. So what we've done is take scenario one, and scenario one would be if Marshall were to be the highest ranked group of five conference champion at the end of the year, then we'll play, place Marshall in one of the three uh, New Year's Six Bowl games. All right, before we do that, we've got to place number six, seven, eight, and so let's put TCU number six in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. Let's put number seven, Kansas State, in the Vizio Fiesta Bowl, and number eight, Michigan State, in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, okay? Now again, scenario one, Marshall has become the group of five representative. So we're gonna put Marshall to play Michigan State in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. We look down our top 25, we see that uh, Notre Dame and Arizona State are still in the mix. Since we placed TCU, Kansas State, Michigan State, we're gonna put Arizona State geographically to play in the Vizio Fiesta Bowl, and we're gonna put Notre Dame to play TCU in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. That's scenario one, okay? Marshall getting in. Scenario two, we're gonna hypothetically say Louisiana Tech wins out, beats Marshall, and they're the highest ranked group of five conference champion. So scenario two deals with Louisiana Tech. Ruston, Louisiana being 250 odd miles from Dallas, we're gonna put Louisiana Tech to play TCU in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. Okay, what does that mean? We still have to place Michigan State and uh, Arizona State and Notre Dame, we place Michigan State in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. We're gonna put Arizona State in scenario two to play Kansas State. And now we're gonna put Notre Dame, instead of playing in the Cotton Bowl, since they've been replaced by Louisiana Tech in the group of five, 
Notre Dame would play Michigan State in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, an old rivalry that uh, is no longer. Okay, so scenario two, Louisiana Tech being the group of five representatives. The last scenario we have is either Boise State or Colorado State representing the group of five from the Mountain West champion. And so in scenario three, again, we place Michigan State TCU and Kansas State. So now we're gonna place Boise State and Colorado State geographically. We'd go in the Vizio Fiesta Bowl to play Kansas State. We would now move Arizona State to play TCU in the Goodyear Cotton Bowl. And geographically, Notre Dame and Michigan State would play in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. So those are the three different scenarios taking our group of five champion. Again, they're not ranked. We're guessing, we're dealing with hypotheticals. But the caveat is, one of these champions will be represented in either the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl, the Goodyear Cotton Bowl, Vizio Fiesta Bowl. We've taken you through the three scenarios, most likely as of the end of the season meeting today. Hope that helps. Probably confuses you and will confuse you more next week. But enjoy college football because the playoffs are ongoing during the regular season right now.